Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome, I'm Trey Price and this is Trey Cass. Wow, I had so many different comments and questions just from short of 24 hours, tons of stuff that people wanted me to talk about or answer questions. So I decided that instead of maybe doing one of these once a week, I'm probably going to just wait until I get enough to talk about from the viewers and get on and make another one. So, here we go. First off, I had a lot of requests for shout outs. First off, Mama Smurf, my baby Brittany, love you very much. And Italian Stallion, she'd like a shout out. And uh, Elizabeth Owen, thank you for the sweet comment, you're always nice. And uh, Kate Junkin decided that she wanted to watch the video and then complain that I didn't talk about her. And quite honestly, she claims we know each other. I cannot remember Kate at all, so if people can help me out, I don't know. Sorry, don't mean to be mean, but I can't say stuff about you if, if I don't know you. Oh well. Alright, that takes care of the shout outs. Moving on. A friend of mine, Jamie, uh, she left me a lot of stuff to talk about. And you know how people say they put their two cents in? Well, Jamie puts in two dollars worth of stuff. So, I'm now going to do a segment that I'd like to call Jamie's Two Dollars. Her first comment was to call me a loser. Well, I take that back. She didn't call me a loser. She called me a loser. And the second one was, uh, she had a question. What music are you listening to? Last night, I was listening to Dropkick Murphys and Irish fiddle music. Tonight is a bit different, as you can tell. But if you don't know the band, you should really look them up and listen to them. They're called Dropkick Murphys. D-R-O-P-K-I-C-K-M-U-R-P-H-Y-S. Dropkick Murphys. And she also asked, is your snake poisonous? No, he is not poisonous. I would not let him be around my neck if she if he was poisonous, you know. Think about that. Come on. It's not very smart at all. And then she made uh Jamie goes on to say her Spring Hill friends. When I said Spring Hill friends, she took it as all the people she went to school with. I meant, what I meant by Spring Hill friends was all of my friends from the Catholic Youth Conference. That's what I meant by that, and that's who I'm giving that shout out to. And she also said that she didn't know what a wetback was. So, Jamie, take a minute, and maybe, just maybe, the joke may have come from you. Maybe, maybe not? Okay. And, uh, let's see, what else we got? She made a comment that... My snake looked like it was camouflage. Lestat had camo on. He does not have camo on, although that's part of it. If he was in the grass, where'd he go? Can't find him. Okay. Uh, a better quote. You know, I thought last night was really good, which probably addressed someone. But um, I got a better one tonight, and I'll address it at the end, like I said I was going to do. And then the eighth thing on the list, she says that I'm a loser. Jamie's not very nice, so what are you going to do? Uh, the snake's name is Lestat. Capital L-E-S-T-A-T. -T. If you don't know who Anne Rice is, you seriously need to look that up because she's one of the greatest vampire writers of the past century. Uh, and then she tells me to talk about a book called The Shack. I have not read it. I tried to look it up and find it, but I couldn't find a way to order it. You're going to have to give me an author's name or something, and once I get it, I'll gladly read it and talk about it. Give it a book review. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Jamie's $2. Yay! I wish I had a, um sound effects button we're gonna hit and it'll be like clapping and you know uh, and that would be cool but I currently do not have that at all oh 
Alright, the song is winding down. There's some clapping, alright, yeah, clap, 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 clap. Ooh, to talk about a book, this. If you cannot see for the glare, it is called Lover Eternal, written by J.R. Ward. It's an interesting little take on vampires. Cool little story. Uh, I find it funny, though, because in her books, she actually abbreviates curse words, but is very graphic when it comes to uh, intimate scenes. So if that's not your forte, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you know you like vampires and you just want a vampire story to read, look into that. Again, it's J. Period R. Period Ward. W. A. R. D. It is the series is called The Black Dagger Brotherhood. Pretty interesting. And let's see. This will be a short one, but maybe I can stretch it out for it. Let me think. Bit of a switch in the music, don't you think? I went from Kanye West to Floggin' Molly. Come on, now. That's how crazy I am. You never know where I'm going. I'm all around the world, yo. Anyway, let's see if I can think of a joke. No. Okay, a priest and a rabbi. No. Uh, no. Well, apparently I don't know any jokes that aren't offensive to anybody, but so... Here we go. I got one. And oddly enough, it's a blind joke. So if you're blind, suck it up. You've heard them all before. You've probably heard this one before, too. But anyway, there's 49 blondes and one brunette. And they're going through this mission trip through the jungle, and they're trunching through the jungle and everything. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And then, uh... They come across this little rickety bridge, and they're all crossing at once, and it snaps, and they're hanging on, they're all hanging on like, ah, what are we gonna do? And they figure it out to where, um, if one person lets go, the rest of them could survive, climb up and survive, and the bridge will hold. So, um, the, there's a, you know, a silence, you know, who's it gonna be? So, uh, the brunette finally, you know, she gets this, she says, okay, I'll do it, I'll sacrifice myself, she gives this heart-wrenching story about how she's lived a full life and she, you know, was proud to give away for the better to the mission trip so that everyone else could get to the people and help them and give them food and shelter and clothes and all that. And the blondes just start crying and they're so touched. So they give her a round of applause. Problem solved. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so, well, that's the best I got, so, let's go out on the quote like we always do, or will always will. Let's see. I think it's kind of, you know, appropriate for the certain time set in our nation. It says, if you are normal, the group will accept you, but if you are deranged, the group will make you their leader. Good luck, President Obama. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and good night.